In this video, we're going to look at the shape tools inside of Photoshop. We're going to click the shape tool in the toolbar on the left or press U on the keyboard. Click and draw a shape. We're looking for a square of about 360 pixels on the width and the height. Then we'll draw a second rectangle of 360 pixels on the width and roughly 140 pixels tall. Note that you can always enter free transform mode with Ctrl T to edit these sizes. When clicked on the shape layer, some new options appear under the properties tab on the right side of the screen. We can edit color fills and stroke, and also have the option to round the corners of our shape. For now, on the bottom rectangle, we're going to click the color fill, navigate down to grayscale and click the second swatch of gray. We'll click off that box and make sure both shapes have no stroke. Do this by clicking stroke and then select the red diagonal box. Next, we'll look at a new image format, an SVG. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. An SVG is an image that is created using maths and not pixels. This means that it can be scaled to any size and is perfect for logos. In the Assets folder, there is an SVG version of Pantone's logo. You can drag the logo into the file in the exact same way as the PNG image we previously added. Drag it into the file, move it into position, scale it to around 220 pixels wide. To help position the image more easily, you can zoom using the magnifying glass tool located in the left panel. You can zoom in Photoshop using two other easier methods. One way to zoom in and out is to use Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus on your keyboard. Also, if you are using a mouse, you can press Ctrl alt and use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Now we've added the Pantone logo, let's add some text for the color samples. Click the text tool and then click directly below the P in Pantone. Then type the first color reference from the sofa in our image, which has the Pantone code of 877C. Click the tick and move it into position using the free transform tool. Alternatively, use the arrows on your keyboard to nudge it into position. Now we've got our Pantone swatch. Let's look at duplicating layers. Select the two shape layers while holding shift. Select the text and logos as well and add them to a group. Name the group swatch one. To duplicate, right click the group and select duplicate group. Note that this works using individual layers as well. A pop-up will open to duplicate the group. Name it Swatch2 and place it in this document. Control J is a quicker way to duplicate a group or layer. However, you won't get the pop-up to edit the name or the destination. Once duplicated, enter free transform mode and move it off to the right to line it up with our outside edge. To move the canvas when zoomed in, hold the spacebar, click and drag. Now let's look at adding some color to these swatches. 